So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a fast formula for the base uh, bonus calculation. Let's move ahead and see our requirements. So our requirement is uh, if in an uh, organization, if the length of a ser le length of service of an employee is less than one year, then the person is not eligible for bonus. However, is if the salary of a person is less than or equal to 15,000, then uh, they should receive 8.33% of the basic salary as a bonus. Conversely, if the salary exceeds 15,000, uh, then the person is eligible for 12% of the basic salary as the bonus. And uh, inputs we are going to take is pay value, and uh, DBI we are going to use is uh, one is amount uh, entry value and the other is uh, per term uh, real length of service and we are going to return with uh, pay values. So let's move ahead and uh, see. In an example, so they, these all uh, this is an example that uh, we will try to execute. So let's say if there is a uh, person who is a Perry Rosado and he is earning twenty thousand uh, gross salary, so he will be getting uh, twelve percent of the bonus, and the amount uh, which will be uh, payable amount is the two four double zero and uh, there is a person uh, Philip Mac Earth. Uh, and he's uh, earning, uh, he's getting 10,000 as a gross salary. So he will be receiving 8.33% of uh, the uh, gross salary, uh, which is going to be 833 payable amount. And uh, uh, let's say there is a person which is AS Singh and uh, his, uh, the gross salary is 5,000. So he should actually uh, like his. Uh, his uh, the length of service of this person is less than one year, so he will be not receiving any uh, payable amount. Uh, let me come to a formula. So in this we are actually going to create two formulas. So one will be for the calculation and another will be for the validation. So first let, let us look at the calculation. So I have named the formula as a bonus calculation and the element type is going to be element input validation. And uh, uh, this is a basic element uh, uh, I have created. So basic salary element I have created, which says uh, the name is AS basic salary. Uh, and uh, the amount, uh, sorry, and we are going to take amount input value. So this is the DBI from the uh, AS basic salary element, and this is the length of service uh, uh, DBI, and it is a number, so it uh, the default value is going to be zero, and the input uh, uh, from the um, bonus element uh, which we have created the pay value, and from here we are going to take a effective date as the date earned context. So uh, we got uh, effective date and we have uh, uh, defaulted the value and we have to take an another variable which is L earned and uh, we got the date earned uh, context from here. And after that we are going to change the context and assigning the date earned and then after we have applied a condition, if the length of service is greater than uh, one year or say one, then we are going to do the calculation. So the, our, after that, uh, our first condition is going to be if the uh, salary of the person is less than 15,000, then uh, we are going to uh, do the calculation as uh, basic uh, salary amount should multiply it by 8.33 divided by 100. This is going to give us the 8.33 percent of the uh, basic salary. And uh, else, if uh, the 
value is greater than uh, 15000 then uh, the person is uh, eligible to get 12% uh, of the basic salary so uh, we are going to apply 12% uh, we are going to calculate 12% of the basic salary. And finally, we are going to re uh, return the pay value. Let's see our uh, validation formula. So here, here it is. So here we are going uh, taking length of service DBI and uh, condition is simple. If uh, length of service is less than uh, one, then we are going to uh, give the status formula status as error. And the message it is going to print is the person is not eligible for the bonus. And we are going finally going to return formula message and formula status. So let's move to our instance and. Uh, uh, let's first create the formula real quick. So we are going to my client group, then compensation. And we are going to scroll down. And uh, fast formula so let us first create our bonus calculation formula so i'm going to bonus calculation formula and uh, the type is going to be element input validation legislative i'm going to choose as uh, us legislative data group and 1101 let me click on continue and uh, let's just copy the bonus formula. So I'm I'll copy the formula and uh, I'll paste it over here. Let's save the formula, submit the formula, and let's just compile the formula. Okay, so our formula has been compiled. Let's uh, come back and create our validation formula. So uh, let me copy the name from here. So length of service bonus calculation. Uh, the type will be same as element input validation. Legislative data group will be US legislative data group. And let me provide the effective data as 1101. Click on continue and I'll copy this formula and I'm going to paste it over here. Let me click on save, submit. And I'm going to compile the formula. Let's refresh and wait for the formula to get compiled. OK, so now we are going to uh, attach this formula to our bonus element. So let's go to our element. Uh, this is our element and uh, I'll search for AS and uh, which is in the US legislative data group and here you can see I have created two elements one is basic salary element and the other one is uh, AS bonus so on the bonus we are going to apply the formula and the element classification you can see is supplemental earning reporting name is bonus and for the basic salary the element uh, classification name is uh, standard earning let me edit a bonus element okay first let me change the effective date as 1101 and i'm going to apply both the formula on the in, uh, input level uh, element level sorry so i'll simply update this and if we scroll down uh, here you can see default entry values and validation so at the first i'm going to apply for the calculation formula it says bonus calculation and secondly i'm going to use the validation formula let me click on save 
and I'll click on submit. Now let's, let's attach these uh, elements to our employee. So first I'm going to select a person management, then let's search for the our first user uh, employee that is Perry Rosado and we are going to provide the gross salary as uh, 20,000. So action, payroll, element, uh, entries, Now I'll click on this create. And we are going to search for our elements. First, we are going to attach uh, basic salary. Element. Click on continue. And if you scroll down, you can see amount. So the amount I'm going to provide is 20,000. Click on save. And I'll click on done. Now let's add our bonus element. So I'll search for bonus. Uh, actually, it should be yes bonus. So I'll click on continue. And uh, here I'm going to do nothing. It will calculate the pay value itself. So I'll click on save. And uh, here you can see uh, we are getting our desired uh, calculation. So 12%. Uh, it is since 20,000 is more than uh, 15,000. So uh, the person is getting 12% of the uh, uh, gross salary as the bonus, and the calculated amount is 2400. So you can see 2400. Let me click on done. And uh, let me let's search for another person, which is Philip McGarth. So I'll click on search. And uh, let me do the same payroll element ele uh, entries. And I'll attach the form. Uh, our basic salary element. So is basic salary. Click on continue. And here I'm going to provide 10,000 as uh, the amount. And we click on save. And we're going to click on done. Let's add our bonus bonus element so I'll click on continue and we'll click on save so since the pay value is uh, less than uh, sorry amount is less than uh, sorry the gr gross value is less than 15000 so uh, the uh, person is getting 8.33% of uh, the gross salary as the bonus, so the payable amount will be 833. Now, let's uh, check our third condition, which says uh, if the uh, per length if the length of service of an employee is less than uh, one year. So let's search for a person who's uh, length of service is less than uh, one year. So I have already created a, a person. So let me search for the person with the person number 6584. Okay, so the na a name is uh, William Spark. So now let's try to add our bonus element 
into the employee. So firstly, we need to add a uh, basic salary element. So OK, we are going to provide him amount that's 5000. Let's click on save. And then done. Now let's try to add our bonus element. Click on continue. And I'll click on save. So you can see uh, the person is uh, the validation formula error message is the person is not eligible for the bonus. OK, so let to me uh, scroll down and I'll show you the high date of this person. The person high date is 1st of Jan uh, 2020. So he's not eligible for the uh, bonus cause his length of service is less than a year. So this is all for the video. Let we'll uh, meet in the next video with some uh, new cases. Thank you for watching.